all right in this video what we are going to do is we are going to connect to a microsoft teams admin uh, via powershell and then we are going to assign a uh, phone number outside the id uh, to the user and enable it uh, for enterprise voice and then verify if the user is enabled or not right so let's do that i'll open powershell now once we do that we have to do import module microsoft teams and then credential the so this is going to be our uh, variable so we are entering the credential as Okay, this is done. Now we'll connect to Microsoft Team. Credential, dollar, credential, enter. Now it should connect to Microsoft Teams. All right, so we are connected to Microsoft Teams right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first validate whether the user has a uh, number assignment and is it enabled for enterprise voice or not so let's do that get cs online voice user okay minus identity then e karnani at the rate uh, uc collaboration dot online let's see all right so if you see here the user is not assigned with any number and the user is also not enabled for enterprise voice so if you see enterprise voice is set to false so now let's do one thing let's assign um, uh, a phone number to this user and enable this for enterprise voice right so let's do that so we'll use set command set cs phone number assignment minus identity uh, and the user account name online and then the phone number will copy the phone number from here so this is the uh, this is my user account and I'm going to uh, navigate to Microsoft admins portal and copy the number what was assigned there and then finally i paste the number here and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, set the phone number type phone number type as direct routing so we are basically enable this user for direct routing okay and then enter so now once we do this so this user will be enabled for direct routing it looks like uh, my i have made a typo here in entering the credential uh, email in entering the email address you see collaboration dot online I guess that's the one I missed UC in the email address all right so if you look at here right now the user is um, assigned with direct routing I'll get online voice user so if you look here the user is assigned with a number and the user is also enabled for voice enterprise voice so this is how you enable the user for uh, enterprise voice and assign phone number on uh, using a powershell uh, and connect to microsoft teams admin or microsoft teams and in the next video what we are going to see is we are going to you know uh, create some uh, voice uh, policy routing policy and then we'll see if the use will try to log in the user and see if the user dial pair appears or not all right i hope this video is informative for you thank you for watching